test, test. Good. What I'm going to show you here is how to convert on Ubuntu, probably some other versions of Linux, an AVI video to an MP4. You can do this a couple of ways. Now, I'm going to show you this is a 1.5 gigabyte. And yes, I know there's a FFmpeg and a WinFF and a couple of several online utilities, but a lot of them take a very long time to do it. And that's frustrating to me because I don't care if it takes a couple hours, so to speak. The problem is sometimes it hangs up in the process and, you know, two hours later, uh, it crashed or there was an error or something. Oh, man, you know. So this is a 1.5 gigabyte. I wanted something that's fairly quick. And also, I'm getting older, so that whole thing with typing in the, uh, typing from the command line, it's just not doing it for me anymore, man. I, I really like my, my WYSIWYG stuff. So, one way to do it would be open with other applications. That was a right click, okay? Do that and open it with VLC do it this way okay I didn't want to do that necessarily but what I can do too is go to and open up VLC oops like that you know and basically don't even have to load it just go right to media and convert slash save and then even if you load it it's not going to make a difference. This is going to be like that. So what you have to do is add. And it's in this temp folder. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh, that's annoying. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. I want to go. Oh my goodness. That's pretty interesting though. I want to go. Here it is. Okay. That's the one I want. Okay. So. Then. You probably show more options, but it doesn't really do much good. Uh, I think if you cache a little bit more, that's a whole. S that's one second. I don't know if that makes a big difference. It may slow things down. You probably should stick with the default. Let's go ahead and stick with the default. I think that's what it was. Let me cancel it real quick. Go back to convert, save, add this file yeah yeah 300 ms is your default and uh, I'm gonna convert gosh darn it okay so there's your options you know I'm gonna go to an mp4 file but you can convert it to a WMV or whatever one of these you want not all of these I mean, you have to know what it is you want. The reason I'm going to go with an MP4 file, H.264 plus MP3, yeah, it's because this is what I need if I want to upload to, like, Facebook or YouTube or whatever. Yeah. And my camera, however, records in AVI. So isn't that a joy? Now, you have a destination file, so you got to browse. And it gives me that but you can type in your name. So what I'm going to do is test dot mp4. I'm not sure if you have to type out the mp4, but I do. Files of type mp4. You know, and save. And then start. Now, it'll give you here is your progress. And it does take a minute right now while we're recording, but that's actually pretty darn quick you know it's a 14 minute video I'm not sure I mean it's not going to take 14 minutes but that is basically what you got to do and when it's completed and I'm not going to wait for it to complete now because it is going to take several minutes you will see here see these are videos I've already converted this is what it looks like when it's converted that is this video right here already converted you know and again it, it moves right along it might take five minutes to convert a 14 minute video but it won't take two hours 
you know because that was my experience with those online converters so one more time you upload you, you open up VLC you go to media convert save control plus R I wonder if you could do that you know yeah you just go hit control R <laughs> you know and you can add other files too if you wanted to you really could you could probably I don't know if you can do more than one well yeah but I, I'm not real sure I don't want to do that right now because it might mess with this you know um, and uh, uh, I've had pretty good luck it does this and you know good to go thank you for watching